Can we sit down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Dope discussions. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about it, okay? But before we do, y'all take this time out right now to like the video, share the video, and subscribe, and let's dive into this dope discussion, okay? Now today, we're gonna be talking about three reasons why women pretend to be happy without a man, okay? Because y'all have got to know and understand that it is an act. When you have all of these females out here talking about they're happy alone and they're happy being single, please, okay? Please. You gotta know they're fronting and stunting and when they go home, they're grunting. Mad as hell. <clears throat> I gotta be a strong, independent, real woman all my damn life. I'm tired of this. But to the public, they'll put on a good front. They'll put on a good face and pretend like they're happy without a man. They're happy being single. And we all know that's cap, okay? Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and highlight the fact that when it comes to women, it is in our nature to want to be uh, loved, to want to be in a stable situation, AKA a relationship, right? Like this is in our nature. It's in our nature to be um, in some kind of dynamic to where we are uh, with somebody that loves us, that is providing for us, that is protecting us, that is doing for us, right? That is in our nature to look to establish those things, aka a relationship with men. So with that being said, you have got to know that we are absolutely pretending when we say things like, oh, I don't need a man, I'm happy without a man, I'm happy being single, when that is completely outside of, but it is to be a woman, right? That's completely outside of our nature. So let's go ahead and highlight the first reason, okay? And this is in no particular order, all right? Let's go ahead and highlight the first reason why women pretend to be happy without a man, okay? Now, we know that when it comes to saving face, when it comes to being the sisterhood champ, these women will go above and beyond to be that example, right? I have to go above and beyond to be the face, to be the leader of the sisterhood, to show and prove and be the one that they idolize as far as not being uh, the type of woman that needs a man, right? So in so many words, the first reason that we have on our list as far as the reason why women pretend to be happy without a man is because they have to be the example for the sisterhood. They have to be the woman that the sisterhood can look up to, to say, yeah, see, that's why we, we don't need men. Look at her, she's thriving without a man. She has her own money. She has her own confidence, whatever the fuck the case may be. Excuse my language, right? But they don't just start making up things just to justify their position as far as not having a man, right? So I'll pretend to uh, be happy without a man so that you know my sisters in the sisterhood can look up to me. I know that I'm suffering. I know that I'm struggling. I know that I need a man, but I can't let my sisters down. I can't let my sisters know that I feel like I'm drowning without a man. Again, they're looking up to me for guidance. I am the woman that they look to as the example, once again. They look at me like, yeah, she's doing a damn thing and she's thriving and surviving without a man and, you know, she's out here prospering. Like, she's a real good idol for us. She's a real good leader for us. But behind closed doors, she's struggling. Behind closed doors, she's barely keeping her head above water. But because I have so many females in the sisterhood looking up to me, 
I can't let them know that I would really love to be with a man. I can't let them know that I would really love for a man to take the reins and take the lead and, again, do all of this hard work for me. I can't let my sisters down in that way. So if I have to put on a happy face and celebrate being single and celebrate um, doing all of this hard work on my own, so be it. Because I have to be the people's champ, okay? I have to be the sisterhood champ. And me being out here talking about I need a man and I'm struggling and I would love to have somebody to share my life with. Mm -mm. They will tear me apart first things first. And again, I got to save face. Are y'all following me with that? Put a one in the chat if you're following your little big sister with that. These females are out here trying to be the example for the sisterhood. This is why they have to pretend to be happy without a man. They have too many women, I'm sorry, real women looking up to them. And they don't want to let them down. So, if again, if I got to pretend in front and fake like I'm good, I'll do that for the sake of my sisters. And let me go as far as saying this, you guys. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let me go ahead and say this, you guys. Let's not also sleep on the fact that when it comes to a lot of these, these females in the sisterhood, they love to be adored. They love to be idolized. They love to be worshipped. So outside of them feeling like they have to be the example for the sisterhood, they also still want that praise, that recognition from the sisterhood. It makes them feel good. It shows their ego to know that they have all of these females looking up to them, idolizing them, worshiping them for being a strong, independent boss chick that, again, does not need a man. Right? So that also ties into them wanting to be the example for the sisterhood. I want to be idolized and worshiped and praised by the sisterhood as well. Okay? So that is the first reason that we have on our list as far as why women pretend to be happy without a man, okay? They have to be the example. They have to be the sisterhood champ, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move it along to the second thing on our list as far as the reason why women pretend to be happy without a man. Now, the second reason that we have on our list as far as why women pretend to be happy without a man is because they can't prove men right, okay? This is a big one. This is a big reason. I cannot let men know that they were right as far as me needing them to survive, okay? Let's just keep it plain and simple. We need men to make our lives easier. We can have all the money in the world and all that, but at the end of the day, you still need a damn man. We know this. And again, it goes back to our nature. It's in our nature to have some kind of companionship, to have some kind of love, have some kind of support. Like, we need that as women. But I cannot prove these men right as far as men telling me, hey, you can't do this by yourself. You can't handle this type of workload on your own. You can't handle this type of stress. You can't handle being out here, being this productive to this magnitude, to this extent. It's not in your nature as a woman. You're not built and designed like this. So to, again, prove men wrong, I'll just pretend like I don't need you. I'm happy without you. Again, I'm thriving and surviving without you. Y'all don't know what y'all are talking about. So move that along. And a big chunk of this, once again, is ego. Right. My ego will not allow me to admit my my faults and flaws. My ego will not allow me to admit that I need help. To admit that I'm struggling again, to admit men are right. Men are right about women needing men, men, men being somebody that uh, women need to rely on and depend on. I, I cannot do I cannot do that. I cannot bring myself to admit to these men that they're absolutely right about my nature. They're absolutely right about my needs, wants and desires. And so to again, save face. I'll just pretend to be happy without them. Because I'll be damned if I ever tell a man he's right about me. Right? So that is the biggest reason. One of the biggest reasons why a lot of women pretend to be happy without a man. That is to prove to men that, you know, I don't need you. You're really not that valuable like that. You know? And again, I'm bossed up with or without you. And let me go as far as also saying this. This is also to um, place it into a man's mind that the woman is the one that is needed by the man. So you, as a man, need to be bowing down to me because I really don't need you like that. You know what I'm saying? It's really kind of like a, a, a reverse psychology mind trick in that way. So it's like, no, I'm happy. I'm thriving, whether I'm with a man or without a man. So, fellas, y'all need to just be bowing down to me and accepting me and worshiping me because either way, I'm going to be good. So you might as well just get on my program because I really don't need you like that. So you have all of those different elements at play when it comes to this uh reason on the list you know i can't prove men right as far as me needing them as a matter of fact i have to turn the tables around and convince men that i'm the one 
that is the prize, once again. I am the one that they need to thrive and survive. Because look at me, I'm doing the damn thing without you. But lo and behold, again, they're struggling. They just can't let you guys see that. They can't let you guys know that. My ego, once again, it won't allow me. So the second thing that we have on our list as far as the reason why women pretend to be happy without a man is so that they cannot uh, prove men right. That's a big reason, all right? Men can never be right. I have to be the one in all times, at all times, showing and proving to men that I am the one that is the most valuable. I am the one that is the most wise and intelligent. I know more and better than you. But let's go ahead and move ahead along to the last and final reason that we have on our list as far as a reason why women pretend to be happy without a man. And that last and final reason on our list is the men that they want don't want them. Now, hear me out with this, okay? Hear me out with this and hear me good. A major issue that a lot of females are running into today is the fact that the men that they desire to be with do not desire to be with them. They are not meeting the qualifications, meeting the standards that those said men that they are uh, going after are looking for a woman to measure up to. That's just not it. And since I do not qualify for those men that have a lot going on for themselves, the men that are attractive, the men that are uh, productive, the, the men that are uh, financially stable, the men that uh, have their ducks in a row, have their business in order, the men that are wise and intelligent. Since I don't qualify for those type of guys and I cannot land one of those type of guys, what I'll do is just choose to be alone and choose to be single and choose to be, or pretend to be rather, happy without a man just so I can save face and just so I can feel like, well, you know, I really didn't want a man anyway. But the thing is, you did. You just did not qualify for the men that you actually wanted, right? This is why also you can see a lot of females um, settling, if you will, with the most low down, broke down guys. It's because that's all that she really qualified for. She couldn't get the providing, protective, uh, leading, teaching, um, loving, uh, wise, intelligent, she couldn't get that type of guy. So she essentially just had to settle for whatever was knocking at her door. And a lot of the times, y'all, this is who's knocking at her door. Hold on. Let me pull it up for you. A lot of the times, these are the guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a little bit sister clown. These are the guys that are knocking at the damn door. The Smokey. Right? All I qualify for is Smokey. But due to a lot of females talking so much ish, about what they deserve and, you know, about what they can get and what kind of man they want and all of this, they would choose to be single just so that, again, they can save face. I, I, I can't pull up with Smokey after talking all of this ish about how I deserve a high value man and how I only uh, attract, you know, the, the rich men and the well-to-do men. I can't pull up with Smokey. So since I cannot bring myself to settle for Smokey, I'll just be alone and I'll pretend to be happy alone. Once again, just so I don't have to show my real worth and value. I, I don't have to admit the type of men that I really do qualify for. The men that really do want me. And also expose the type of men that don't want me. Right? So a lot of these females are pretending to be happy without a man because they can't land the men that they actually want. And so since I can't land the men that I really want, I'll just pretend to be happy single, happy without a man. Because once again, I, I just cannot bring myself to pull up with Smokey. Now, again, y'all, it's left to the conversation. Some females still pull up with Smokey. Like, well, I need a man, so it is what it is. I, I'm settled. I'm going to settle for a, a piece of a, a guy, then no man at all. Some, some females do that. And this is why you can see those instances where it's like, damn, why is she with him? Well, the men that she really wanted didn't want her. She didn't qualify for what she felt like she really deserved. So she got to take what, what she can take. But what did we talk about earlier? When it comes to the ego of a lot of these females, they cannot admit their faults and flaws. They cannot admit their shortcomings. So what they'll do instead is again, just say, you know what? I'm single and I don't have a man because I like having my freedom and I like being by myself and I like, in all actuality, they just did not qualify for them if they really wanted, you know? So they, they'll put on a strong front, a strong facade, pretending all to save face, okay? But that is my list, you guys, out of the three reasons why women pretend to be happy without a man. But again, there's plenty of other reasons, all right? And it's always levels and layers to the conversation. Um, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this discussion. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are some reasons that you see 
Gumi pretending to be happy without a man. Y'all let me know, okay? But again, y'all, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Um, also, feel free to email me at demariepoet at gmail.com if you have any topic suggestions uh, that you feel like would be dope for us to talk about, all right? But I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And again, like, share, comment, subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell, okay? That way y'all can be alerted for our future dope discussions, all right? But keep the conversation going and flowing down below, and I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace.